<laughs> that was new. Classic. Just freestyling. Right got, dude, he's got to let it this roll, is, dude. Well, this, we're just getting ready for Punchline tonight. Exactly, right. dude. We got the bull, Maddie McCusker, God, on dude. the ones and twos with the host. Hosting, dude. dude. You're, you're going to be a great host. I'm, be horrible, I'm excited I'm for horrible it. Horrible host. No, you're not. In between comics, you're going to be hilarious. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'll, I'll probably do a quick fucking eight. I think I then... said it last night. What's going to happen? You're going to eat a dick up front. Big dick. Harsh dick. I'm going to eat fucking Safari's dick. Dude. But you're going to set the tone. You're going to go out. True you're going to say some weird shit. Yup. They're not going to be with it at first. Nah. After the first comic, you're going to come back out. They're going to be like, we remember this guy. We love him. Exactly. I think so, too. You're going to so come too. back out, say something weird again. They're going to be like, we like him now. This is good. The yeah. next comic, who's going to bomb because the lineup stinks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to come back on. Same thing. They'll be like, wow, this yep. is even better than the last time. True that. And then it's all going to lead to me. Oh, my God. The introduction, dude, is going to be... I'm going to fucking It's going to be like a two-minute introduction. I might suck your dick on it's stage. <laughs> It's going to be a two-minute introduction. I want you to stay out there. I'm going to list everything I know you've ever done, dude. It's going to be fucking sick. I can't wait to come back here next week and be like, we fucking bombed. <laughs> <laughs> the introduction was 10 seconds. The introduction I was 10 out, seconds. You just bombed the whole time. Hand. I was like, good job. That'd be fun. No, I think it's going to be fun because I don't give a fuck at all about, especially the punchline. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I, I just fucking don't like the stage, don't like the setup. I just corporate ass punch on dude. Oh, dude, it's so fucking cool. Also, they're very uh, pro diversity. Not Philly punchline, but punchline as a whole. Yeah, I believe. Really, I could be wrong. That's why they hired me. I think one of their bookers at like the higher level is like very. Yeah, he's like a Google employee type. And plus, if I film it and record it and make it a production, you get all uh, yeah. I'll be in my head the whole time. Like if I fuck up a joke, you'll be just right into the camera. Like and then, (laughs) and uh, you don't want to go too deep in the pussy. (laughs) Oh, yeah, that's true. There's gonna be so many of those jokes that I've told for so long that everybody in the audience fucking knows. True that. I'll be like, you you know how I look retarded when I fuck and I have a funny retarded face. (laughs) I look like this. Crowds usually laugh at that. Uh, oh, that's hilarious. That'll be. It will be. I think it'll be trying. Yeah, we're gonna get you up there. Be fun. Oh yeah, we crushed. We crushed song. it. Punchline. Punchline. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot we were bragging about how we were gonna crush it. Punchline. We both. Were, yeah, it was. It was alright. Wasn't my best. I watched the video though, and I'll say I laughed at myself. I thought you were hilarious. About I hope what? you could hear me. I laughed a bunch of times during I've, your set. I was. I, I'm always in like a flashbang state when I'm doing yeah. stand up. I'm just up there like. Doo, 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 doo. But I, I watched the video and I was like. I'll give it to that. It was yeah. Fun. Well, I watched my. I got off stage and I was like, "What the fuck?" I kind of hated my set, but a lot of people Dude. liked it. Yeah, that was. I was great. It was a good set. That was a good. The, set. the crowd reaction was good, but I got off stage. I was like, "I fucking hated it" because I didn't do anything new. Yeah. Which was kind of the whole point of me fucking doing mm-hmm. the time there. I was like, "I got to do new stuff for yeah the helium show" because I don't want to do the retarded face. The yeah, it's funny time. how you think that, and then you see like fourteen strangers up in the front row, and you're like, "Oh my god, yeah, I gotta turn ready. it on for these guys." <laughs> you guys ready to hear my making a murder joke? That's now three years <laughs> old. It sucks because I get, you can remember when the fucking show came out. <laughs> I'm like, God damn, this joke's old. <laughs> but he talks about Amish like it's a country. <laughs> I know. Smoking big doinks in Amish, dude. That guy's a man. Big old doinks. We, gotta, we, could, we could probably get him on. Wouldn't be that hard. I don't think it would. I think I'm moving to New York in June. Oh, might be able to get him on when we. You got to smoke one last big doink in Amish before I, you go out there. I smoked a big doink on Friday and was a complete fucking were... moron. <laughs> I smoked a big doink at that fucking four twenty show. At the four twenty show, I blazed a doink in the basement of this North Philly <laughs> fucking head shop. <laughs> and then this dude that was in the audience just started doing magic in the basement. That'll happen, dude. So we were smoking weed, and then this weird old dude just started doing magic. Ugh. And he was horrible. really good at it. Was and he it really? was fucking me up. He started he, David Blaine in you? Yeah, he blamed the shit out of me. And I was like, whoa, dude, I'm fucking <laughs> high, bro. And I fucking Instagrammed him doing one of his tricks. And uh-huh. then me like looking at the camera and being like, I'm fucking high, dude. Oh. This guy's a fucking wizard. <laughs> but whoa. <laughs> And I was I was like blacked out at this yeah. point. My girlfriend. I saw I got a picture of you yeah. coming across out of the bathroom. <laughs> I dude. was fucking destroyed. Was your girlfriend there? No, but she saw the Instagram video and was not too pleased. Not too pleased about she your behavior. None too pleased. You got an F in behavior, dude. So I immediately deleted the video, and then you got I fired from Sirius. Texted dude. her, and I was like, I don't capitulate with terrorists. You're just jealous because I'm having <laughs> fun right now, and I posted it again. <laughs> And then I woke up the next morning and deleted it. 
I was like, I'm sorry, babe. I love you. I love you. I hate smoking weed. I hate magic. I'm I sorry hate. I smoked weed and then the magician <laughs> tricked me. <laughs> oh, yeah, this fucking magician got me, dude. Dude, you sound like you've been you've been kind of brushing up with some evil hippies. Like, that's a I've real evil hippie. A lot. The, hula, the hula hoops start breaking yeah, out, dude. That was an evil the hippie. G- magic. He was doing dark magic. No shit, dude. He hid a pen behind his ear, and I couldn't find it. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was rough. That sucks. You got tricked. Then I went to a bar after. What, you, I was what just, were you drinking on? I fucking, it was party time, dude. I thought it was pure party time. God damn it, man. Yeah. It's so fun. When, you're, when those first couple drinks go down, man, they, you know, whatever those fun. juices are. Apparently, when you get blacked out, it's not that you don't remember. It's that your mind, the part of your brain that records events is just off. <laughs> so, that's, so you're not, you didn't forget anything. You're just not recording it. Yeah. Or if well, you're kind of on the verge, if you're really drunk, you're like going in and out of recording events. Wood hit me up and was like, are we still good for that show Saturday? I was like, uh, what show, dude? Oh, that's so funny. He was like, you said you would do a spot at this. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> I'll be there. I was like, when do we talk about that? He was like, Friday night. And I was like, oh. Oh, man. Gotcha. It was party time, dude. That's so funny. Well, that show I did was all stoned hippies, yeah. dude. And they, people smoking weed during the show. Yeah. See, I, I would, I think that would be fun for a comedy show. But then again, it's like no, like they were said, all just tired. Twelve people show up. Yeah, you got to hit it hard and fast. It was awkward. Yeah, it sucks. And they were high and like. And you're calling them gentrified. It was they were. It was party time. It was like when we make fun of the halfway house party time. Oh my like god! Like they were just knotted out. It was just like eight people like asleep in chairs. <laughs> And I was on stage like, you know how uh, black dicks are like big? Uh, this sucks. You guys are gentrifiers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's funny. oh, man. How was um, Saturday? Saturday said it was triumphant. Saturday was great. Saturday I had a show get canceled in media. Yeah. And I was like, damn, there goes all my money. All the doink, all the doink fund's been drained. My doink. I, had, I smoked too many doinks on Friday. <laughs> I was doinked out, dude. And then I <laughs> smoking big doinks in Amish. Big old doinks. And uh, so the show got canceled. Then Beezer pulled some strings and was like, how would you guys like to have the Shane Gillis? That's what's up. And the guy who was running the show is like a fan. He was like, holy fuck, that'd be incredible, dude. Uh, that's awesome, dude. It's like the one booker that likes me. <laughs> He's like, holy fuck, dude, yes. Get him, him down, down here we'll, now. We'll pay him, dude. Bring him down. That's awesome. So I did a show in Delaware. On Saturday, and it was yeah, great. That's sick. And the, the guy Schiavi is... Yeah, dude. He, he, guy he had a couple cold ones, I think, during yeah, the show. Yeah, a couple briskies? Yeah, I think he had a few cold ones during the show. He was, like, yelling at the audience before he brought me up. He's uh-huh. like, turn your fucking chairs around. This guy's amazing. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I was like, dude, don't do that. <laughs> he was like, Shane fucking Gillis. Oh, that's and awesome, people, And no one in the audience knows who I am. They're like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Where was this? Who's this loser? Uh, it's called Eighth and Union. In, this is down in Wilmington. In Wilmington, sick. Yeah, and then I ended up having a good show. That's awesome. There was a lot of talkers. I was telling them to shut the fuck up, and the crowd was like, "Fuck yeah!" You're in a bar. Yeah, that's a must. But it was in a, a back show. room. Okay, that's it. Was a nice. It was a nice room. Yeah, but these people were like hammered. Yeah, the whole room was shit faced. They were still carried over from yesterday. It was dude. nuts, dude. They, I think they had some big doinks. They're probably snorting Keith all weekend. Dude. They were fired up. Yeah, it was four twenty one. <laughs> they were still, still. It was party time in there. Yeah, I had a black guy in the front row high fiving me every few minutes. How long did you do? A half hour. Whew. Blessed him with. You went down in Blaze, Delaware. I did. Yeah, it was fun. I swear to God, Ajax McCusker was in the audience. I heard you had a fake sighting. The whole show, I was just staring at this guy. He looked, he had long hair. Uh, yeah. He was wearing a Metallica t shirt. I, mean, I was like, that's got to be Ajax. That's a close call. He moved to Philly, though. And I was looking at him the whole show, like, huh? He's looking at I you. I was like, this is definitely Ajax. So then I, after the show, I went and tried oh to find him. And, I, and then when I like approached him, I realized he was like 5'8. And I was like, this can't be Ajax. Ajax like I was like, what's three. up, dude? He was like, what? <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, my bad, man. <laughs> Six was telling me, you're like, that's Ajax, dude. It's definitely I Ajax. Thought for sure. That's- Last night, I was running hot. Yeah. Also on stage, running hot. Wow, that was a fucking dude. That was Last so night was fun. Well, it was funny because I made a really victorious return. Matt made his fucking comeback. Tour. I, I came out. I came out on stage with the, what the fuck's the guy's name from Wild Wild Country with the folded yeah. hands. Yeah, you walked out like that. No, I was. I What's was his like, name? Ogoshi or some shit. I forget his name. Whatever his name is, I'll, it'll come back to me. 
I hit him with the with the folded hands, dude. I'm praising yeah. the crowd, and within like three seconds, I'm like, they don't like this. And I was holding water, so it was weird. So I, I like just bailed it out of that instantly, <laughs> and started telling these people about my new idea. I was like, I'm just gonna do stand up, dude. It's always gonna be free, and then I'll just put it out on the internet. Once I get a half an hour, it goes out on YouTube, free for the people. I'll make advertisers pay, and if they don't, that advertisers don't pay. They'll fucking pay. Yeah, it, dude. yeah. They'll pay, dude. Mark my fucking words. <laughs> you didn't say that, did you? No. All right. I, was I, I didn't even. I didn't even know. Was. I didn't even know that happened. They were just freaked out because I was telling them how I had like no gods, no masters. I was like, "Fuck this club, fuck fucking yeah, club yeah, owners. Yeah. I don't give a shit." And they were just kind of like, "This guy's a fucking psycho." But it was fun, man. I, That's I what you said you wanted. You I were had like, fun. I want to. I want to be like a Pet Boys employee. You can't get away from. I know. I want to be like a guy in the waiting room when you're like waiting for your oil change. Some guy who just sits next to you, and you're like, I, I, I'm here. I, I got to deal with this guy's statements. This guy. That's how I want my. You went on stage, dude. just like I only exist. <laughs> I only exist in the cyber realm. <laughs> People were like, "What the fuck is it? You're like 23rd at an open mic. Like yeah. I am. I have no masters. <laughs> I was on the way thinking about how funny it would be. To, like, do that, get 30 weird minutes, and then go to, like, book shows at, like, Bristol Comedy Works, like, really conservative, like, old people rooms, and just do, like, a full half-filmed hour where I just bomb on stage <laughs> and then just release it to YouTube. I'd love that. It'd be so fun. That'd be awesome. It'd be so fun. Yeah, and then I followed you, and I was I was running hot, dude. Oh, well, I the, came out fucking You swinging. came out, I could tell you were like, I'm about to show him what I've been up to, dude, no, no, show him no, what stand-up's no, no. about. Not dude, at all. A little bit. Not at all. A little bit. No. A little bit. I mean, I was happy you were there. Exactly. But there was no part of me that I was like, I want him to see all my progress. There not was not that. that, but it's be like, welcome back. Here's what I've been up to, dude. And you came back, and it was like, it was, was c- came out hot, dude. Boom, boom, came out boom. hot. What up? What up? <laughs> Bam. And then I was like, what's a white Uncle Tom? Boom. Crowd. <laughs> the crowd is We were gone. talking about how you were in India- Indianapolis, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're like, I just did a black show out in Indianapolis and fucking crushed. I just butt fucked a room of black people. <laughs> and the crowd gets kind of weird. And like, no, in a good way. But I definitely pandered, though. I was like, I love Black Panther. Like, what do you call a white Uncle Tom? And the room just goes, <gasps> and just zipped yeah, up, dude. Nice. Total fucking like, oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Everyone was just freaking out. But you got out of it. I rode that storm for about eight minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Finally fucking rose from the ashes. Dude, dude, that was so fucking funny. I needed that I needed that fan to, to approach me afterwards. Oh, that stout Indian yeah, fellow. Dude. He's He's come to the last, like, month... He's been, ad- he, he's been admiring you. He comes up every time. And he's just like, that was fucking incredible, dude. dude. That's sick. He's like, that was amazing. Even even last night, he was like... I saw it. He was like, I didn't think you could get out of that. It was, you were bombing. It was you, Shaner, me, and then this dude comes up and starts praising you. Whichever, Whenever you're in a tree out of comedians and you praise one, the other two are just like, fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I was as chill as he could get, and I still was just sitting there like... Looking over his shoulder, like until he finally saw me, he's like, "Yeah, you're good too, man." I was like, "Yeah, it was whatever, dude. Thanks, bro." <laughs> yeah, that's that is the worst. Oh man, it hurts, and I, it's like whatever. It doesn't matter, but it does, dude. It's you uncomfortable. Feel, it's uncomfortable yeah, yeah. for me too. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. The worst is when you're out there and like the headliners out there with you, and someone's like, "You were the best." Yeah, it's dude. Like, dude relax, Even if they're relax. within earshot somewhere, yeah. dude, it's I'm like, like dude, shut the chill, fuck up. Bro. Thank you. Shut the fuck yes, up. Yes, I know you're right, dude. But yeah, sh- it's like you're definitely right. <laughs> I said Uncle Tom, dude. I got away with that. That's fucking sick. <laughs> Yes. Damn, dude, how far on the edge are you going to go, dude? That's probably as far as I'll go. Last night. White Uncle Tom. I mean, I mean I, 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 there's no joke there. I should have had a fucking answer for it. Yeah. Instead of just saying it and just being like, all right. Anyway, yeah. what's up? It's so, yeah, it's just weird how people freak the fuck out. Uh, like, yeah. literally, that people were like, it was like light electroconvulsive therapy. Everyone was like... <gasps> I had, like, like I had like up. four Bud Lights in quick succession before that. That might be a side effect of Bud Light. It's coming out and like making black people uncomfortable. It and is. It's coming like a warning, dude. You might say some fucking yeah. weird shit, dude. That's a side effect. It's like don't drink while you're pregnant and don't drink if you could be racist. Yeah, don't drink around people who might want to discuss Section 8 housing. But I'll fucking tell you what's going on with this. <laughs> these bullies, the only thing they need? No, I'm going to say. You know what they need? It's that you can't just give everything, and people yeah, are like, "Oh yeah. my god, dude!" <laughs> That's a couple of Bud Lights. Yeah. I didn't drink that much. I mean, those last houses time. are fucking brand new. You can, wait, really? <laughs> it's been nicer than my house. Yeah. What the heck? You get a couple of Bud Lights, and you do don't go driving through HUD homes. All dude. it takes is like four drinks, and it fucks my stand up up. Like, yeah, I did entirely. I it doesn't help me. Man, I mean, at, at the open mic, I don't give a fuck. I'm usually just fucking around. Yeah. So I'm like, I'll have I'll have fun. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'm there, I'm bored as fuck, and I'll just be like, all right, get a little decent buzz, go up yeah. there, 
Tell him to suck my dick. It, it gives me no when I'm if I have like three or four drinks, I have no fucking clue how it's going, and no matter how it get, whenever I get off, I'm just like. Bam, dude. Oh, really? I fucking crushed. See, sometimes, like, last night I got off and I was like, holy fuck, I suck so yeah, bad. Yeah. And it wasn't, the, I mean, it wasn't the worst. No, not at all. It was fine. It literally, it really was. It was just, yeah. it wasn't the fucking, I've been I mean, doing well there lately, so I was like, true that. this is, this is going to be great. They, they were a tepid crowd. I've been getting that at Helium a lot where it's like, and it's probably just me, but I've been getting crowds where they, like, laugh, but not out loud. They're just kind of like... Or they're just kind of like a weird, puzzled face the whole time through. Of just well, like, you're saying weird shit. Yeah. I mean, and I get the same thing because I'm saying weird shit. And people yeah. are going to, like the people that do laugh, though, that's what's enjoyable. It, like there was a couple at uh, McGooby's this weekend. Mm -hmm. I was up there basically doing that exact same set. Yeah. And there was just a young couple that was literally like crying, laughing it, the amongst a room that was silent. That's the best. I was dude. like, fuck yeah, dude. That's, you guys get it. That's the best. Yeah. So I was just trying to make them laugh the rest of the time. It was fun. Let me on. You guys are the best. Oh, a and uh, um, April twenty fifth, come to Helium. Yes, this Friday, April thirteenth, I'll be at, in DC for the DC Comedy Fest. Oh, I'll be down there. Oh, nice. I'll be there the thirteenth. When are you? Yeah, I'm not down there on Saturday. Okay, I got to be back Saturday for a show mm -hmm. in Philly. And what did I say it was? Philly, uh, versus, Philly versus New York. Philly right? versus New York. It's Lansdown. a it's a nice urban show, as nice. the kids would call it. And I'm representing Philadelphia as we take on two Hispanics from New York <laughs> in comedy. It's me and an Asian chick. That's hilarious. Dude. Me and an Asian chick Wait, versus two Asian Hispanics. Chick? I don't know. She's got a Polish last name. What if someone approaches you All to right. Alyssa Triskowski? Yeah. What if someone oh, okay. yeah, approaches yeah, yeah. you nice. to throw yeah, the yeah. fucking no, fight? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know Alyssa. She's so cool. if one of the Hispanics try to make me throw the fight, yeah, dude, throw the comedy battle. It's Philly till I die. I got to rep Philly in this comedy battle. It's going to be so funny. Philly versus New York. Me, an Asian chick with a Polish last name. <laughs> Two Puerto Ricans from the Bronx. It all goes down. You do the math, In dude. front of all black people. She just people. ended up offending everyone on the I show. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm just, a Polish Asian. I'm a very stupid. <laughs> this just sounds like someone's commissioned porn, dude. <laughs> I know. Someone set me up to just be like, yo, you know the thing. I'm like, yes, dude. I found a new angle. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. April 21st, doing. I got a fucking sore throat from yelling. Do you really? I was screaming, fucking, what's up, Denny's all night. God damn, what's up? What's up, that kid is. There's a video of this kid, this band playing at Denny's. Mm -hmm. They're in a fucking oh Denny's, God. and they're a hardcore metal band. And this dude walks out with the sickest fucking energy of all time, dude. Yeah. He comes out, he's like, what the fuck is up? What the fuck is up, Denny's? Oh and then they start God. jamming, and the place just goes nuts, dude. Yeah. I like admire people who can get into like that venue that hard and just rock at Denny's and just be like, what the fuck? Oh. Dude, it's good. it is so What's fucking up? sick. What's up? What the fuck is up? Dude, That's awesome. I was like, like, you know, I've been sad. I literally watched that, and I'm like, it's the sickest shit ever. That's awesome. Like that that dude's fucking like confidence yeah. to be like, yo, I'm in a Denny's. I don't give a fuck, dude. Dude, he's like, I'm, I'm playing in the venue rock, I'm at. Dude. What's up? <laughs> yeah, dude. What's up? What the fuck is up, Denny's? That's All the time, I'm always like, hey, helium. <laughs> no, I'm like, helium. It's, it's a sold out helium. I'm like, <laughs> are you sure you want me you guys to do happy this? Happy to be here. <laughs> do Does anybody even want to be here? <laughs> are you guys mad at me? I feel like you're mad at me. I do think it takes a special kind of character to come out and be like, "What's up, Philadelphia?" Uh, ladies, <laughs> put your titties in the air, man. I know you want to be. Here. I'm always like, guys. Oh uh, fuck, I'll hurry this up. Are you guys? <laughs> yeah. Do you guys I'm pay sorry. for parking? <laughs> fuck. What's up, Philly? Yeah, dude. I I opened with that last night. Yeah, I, I walked out. Awesome. I said, "What the fuck is up, Denny's?" <laughs> they were all. Everyone was like, "All right, yeah, cool." They actually went along with it. I was They're like, a oh, great this crowd. Is be a great show. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah, when comedy crowds are just kind of like, fuck it, what is yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the what's up, Denny's? They were all like, that's funny. Well, people just laugh and nervous. If you just come out on stage and you don't look like uh, like out of place or weird at all and you say something totally weird, a crowd of people will completely be like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Because they just, they're not going to not laugh. If you came out and you're like, what's up, Denny's? They're just like, the fuck Yeah, if I nervously, I was like, what's up? What the fuck is up, Denny's? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm happy to be here. Hey, you check your list. You're like, <sighs> Yeah, next, next joke. Next you joke. Go, uh, one more time for Brian. What's up, Denny's? <laughs> I, was, like, I was the king of that, dude. I'd be like, I'm gonna come out and do this really funny, weird thing, and I like half do it. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, dude, um, I remember that. Yeah, I would always do that. Oh, dude, dude I, I showed the crowd my ass at one time. I'm so proud. I was the king. I was the king of like, I have this line, 
and then it's going to fucking open up the greatest set I've ever had in my life. Yeah, yeah. And then I go up there and be like, say the line, and it wouldn't get anything. And then you're like, uh, dating's, <laughs> dating's weird. Dating's weird. God, it's so weird. Yeah, Dude, I'm, that's what I've actually been doing. I've been what? going on stage and be like, damn, dating, <laughs> dating sucks. Yeah, but I, mean, I don't have any jokes about it. I'm just like, it fucking sucks. <laughs> but it's the whole thing of like, that's what comedy is. You're either dating or you're married. So you're yeah, going to talk yeah. about dating or married or relationships. It's and like, the same thing with the audience, though. Yeah, so they're fucking true that. Like yeah, that's why right. early shows when I talk about being single, they're kind of like, mm. yeah. we're all married. Yeah, like yeah. my anti kid shit on early shows, they're kind of just like not trying to hear it. We are actually paying fifteen dollars an hour to watch our little one. Yeah, yeah, like, and they're yeah. so fucking proud of themselves for having a fucking kid. Yeah, too. So like when someone goes on stage, it's like I don't know if I want kids. They're like, <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know yeah. the work's not for everyone. It's a yeah, clear, yeah, it's yeah. a clear club. For You're sure. all. Like I can see it's the amaz- I can see the utter amazement of creating like a human being. Oh, dude, I bet it's oh, a very but, rewarding and but very difficult. There's experience. a clear like, yeah, I don't have kids, and I hang out with my cousins and friends who have kids. It's like there's an energy, a no kid energy. You feel it. You're like, man, I'm the I'm definitely the other right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. when you're around there, you're kind of like it's it's that energy of like, what do I do? Yeah, do I help? How like I don't know how long I can play with their kids for it. If then they're like, look at this desperate fucking loser. He wants one so bad. I'm like, go run. Be yeah. with your brother. Be with run. your brother. Get out of here. Don't, run away from me. Run. Don't talk to me. I'm so sad. You'll catch it if I touch you. Dude, being sad is fucking gay. Dude, dude being sad so is sad, well, it's the opposite gay. of gay. Gay means happy. True. So sad. True. True. Yeah, it's fucking Etymology, crunk, dude. dude. That's yeah. awesome. It all works. Being sad is not crunk. Dude, any kind of if yeah, you just if there's a Latino guy and you want to hurt him, you just remind him of a time they climbed challenging terrain. Just like <laughs> yeah, you climbed a hill, huh? And they're like fuck you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> or if how you, dare you? Much like the Asians, if you get what country they're from wrong, oh get yeah, them too. like if you're if you're talking to a Puerto Rican, be like yeah, we're gonna build a wall to keep you guys out. That's true. It's like I'm from it's an island, motherfucker. Like, nah, dude. <laughs> we're build walls Building that wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, comedy's great. That's tight. So you didn't. Yeah, wait, I mean, were you bombing or were you having? No, a good I wasn't sets? bombing. Everything okay. was fine. You yeah. just didn't like them. Uh, yeah, they were. They were talkative. There's a that fucking. Sucks, yeah. they, they were. There was this one guy that was super white trash. Mm-hmm. And like while I was on stage just talking, he was just like, "How about Pennsylvania football?" I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Football in Pennsylvania." What about it, bro? Exactly. Like, there were people asking me fucking questions during my set. Like, just talking. Oh, it was crazy. God. It was, yeah. So that sucked. It's usual sign of low intelligence, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's people like... that want to interact with this uh, the, the person on stage with just a question that you're yeah. thinking. That means yeah. that was rattling around that guy's brain for probably like five minutes. Could have, he could have been waiting. He, he could have been waiting all night. He probably was like, "I'm going to the comedy show." Ask the guy about football in Pennsylvania. But <laughs> <laughs> you just so happened to be he was from just Pennsylvania while he was driving. <laughs> just, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be a good. Night. It's funny to think of people who are so dumb they go into a comedy show and they're like, "I guess I'll just ask him a question. I don't really know what to do right now." <laughs> I mean, can you imagine asking somebody a question while they're talking on stage? No. Outside of heckling, like I, I mean, get, it's one thing to be like, "You fucking suck." Like yeah, I get that, sure, but to that's be like. Funny. Well, some of football, there's a lot of people who think that they're helping out oh, comedians by every this. single one of them. I've had family members before be like, who like heckle horribly during shows. And like, yeah, but dude, he riffed off and I kind of helped him out there. And it's like, so, dude, no, you, you didn't. don't have to do no, that. No, you didn't. Don't fucking heckle like that. Yeah. They're, you're a fucking dipshit. Yeah, dude, it was but so funny. But if somebody thinks you suck and they're like, yo, you fucking suck, that's, that's hilarious. That's fair, yeah. You, you can't. gotta give them that. <laughs> exactly. You gotta be like, yeah, well, fuck you, dude. You suck. Get him the fuck out of here. I had an old boss who. Literally went to a comedy show the whole, like all week. He was talking about it. He's like, I can't wait to heckle. And I'm like, dude, you're not supposed to heckle. And he was like, you're, you're supposed to heckle, man. If you're good enough, you can get over it. And he, he was the helium open mic. And the one guy was on. He just put his head down. He was like, horrible. Oh, your uncle did this? <laughs> that was some guy he used to work oh, for. Shit. Some other guy. He'd be like, terrible. And dude, it was the whole time just being an Holy asshole. It was shit. so fucking At the funny. open mic? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That was when the Iceman went up. Iceman will bring it. The yeah, Iceman went up. I and just did, saw a video he did. He just, yeah, he, he went up and did like joke book jokes. You see and, that uh, video he just released? No. He was like walking on the steps and he stops and talks to the camera. Really? It's pretty sick. I'll okay, check that out. Iceman's dropping some heat. Yeah, definitely check out Ice Jokes, dude. That's a sick fucking plug. <laughs> Ice Jokes are the best. I feel, man, I feel like this sucks. No, it's good, dude. We're 22 minutes in. All right. Let's take a break, though. All right, let's take a beat. Um, yeah, it was a good. I, I like that episode. It's a good cast. 
I'm sure we're gonna get a lot. Like, stick to talking about funny shit, you fucking ass. That was funny. I gotta stop letting the noise get. Yeah, to me, dude, get the fucking I, noise out of here. Stop that. putting that in here. But um, keep that in your fucking head. This weekend, I'll be at Helium Comedy Club with Sam Morell. That'll be a good one. Yeah. Oh, I got bumped this weekend. Well, I was supposed to be at McGooby's with Miss Pat. Miss Pat, she yeah, bumped you. And, yeah, I got down there on Thursday night as I walked in for the show. Miss Pat came back into the room with me and the manager and was like, you know, I brought my own feature, right? Jesus Christ. And the owner looked at me like, oh, shit. That sucks. Did yeah, he pay really you? fucking. He gave me some money. Yeah. But it was, I mean, it was a miscommunication. I wasn't mad at him. That happens and all Ms. the time. Pat was cool as fuck. Yeah. In fact, she asked the club owner for my number because I did do a set on Thursday. Yeah. And she asked, she was like, I need a funny white boy. There you go. Bring him on. I was like, all right. Sick. Dude, get Miss Pat, Pat. Pat She got shot. Miss Pat got shot. Miss Pat got shot in the head. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Miss Pat got shot Ms. in the Pat head. Got shot by her ex boyfriend. Not everyone should do it, but if you're really like, what am I even doing? It's like eat fucking three grams of mushrooms. You're like, yeah, my life's good. My normal re- sense of reality, I'm taking it for granted. You got to disturb it every now and again. That makes sense. But I'm, hey, I've, I've discovered that the only thing this is really corny, also, but the only thing that like keeps me away from that, like right now, I should be. I had a couple beers last night. Mm-hmm. Kind of showed my ass comedically. <laughs> yeah. I should be very anxious, but we got that show tonight. True that. If I have a show, I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, it's when you don't you know have I mean? one. If yeah. I don't have a show and I have nothing to do. That's funny. It's crazy. You start. You just start losing gravity. You start detaching from the couch and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, God. Yeah. I've, had, I've had shows, thankfully, the last like eight, eight or nine days straight. Yeah. So things have been good. Just to do stand-up. Yeah. Every night. That's, that's fine. And yeah. I'm happy. But I think I don't have anything. What's today? Wednesday? Mm-hmm. I mean, I could go to Raven Thursday. Yeah. But that kind of sucks. It does. And I'm back Friday and Saturday. This will be good. I right, take a day off, yeah. man. And you'll deserve it. It's nice taking a day off when you know you deserve it. When you're yeah. like, you know what? I can chill. Especially because now I'm I, just this many straight days in stand-up. I'm like, I got to do new stuff. And all my new stuff is just weird. Like, yeah. it's all stuff that I haven't done at clubs. So now I'm trying to do like uh, I got fucked you. up yeah, shit yeah, at yeah. clubs. It's stuff that I've been able to do at open mics yeah. where I really don't care. But then doing it in front of like normal people, gets it's a different level. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's and a, I, st- I started doing it at McGooby's and it started going well. It that's felt good. That's the stuff about stand up that I crave. I love doing new material. Oh, I mean, I that's... love it, dude. I love just trying it. And yeah. like, once I start doing the same old shit, but it, you know, in a pinch, when you got to do 45 minutes, you're like, thank God uh, I have well, these when I'm old doing 45 nuggets. minutes, it's like, I need, that's yeah, the only thing. Yeah, thank I God can I got do. these old nuggets. But yeah. God damn it, it's fun trying new stuff. New stuff is what makes stand up good. Yeah, it's fun. When you have new there's guys like, like that one show I did with Voss where he had openers that he knew from like the 80s. He was like, they're doing the same material. Brad Trackman. Imagine, yeah, sure, that guy. I mean, imagine doing the same material since, dude, for a fuck. I mean, I do sixty nine. Dad still makes me happy, but I have jokes in there it's that nice. are like two, three years old. Yeah, sometimes probably four. Yeah, every once in a while I'll tell a joke that's like four years old, and I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I I die inside when I there's certain Sad. jokes I tell that I'm just like, God damn, you're fucking. Well, then the funny. joke doesn't work because then you don't care. Yeah, my if, face hides nothing, dude. No, if I'm just, if I'm uncomfortable, my face is like. <laughs> you do, yeah. My I face think, betrays me. I think you and I both have very telling faces. Like yeah. I can tell Ashley, I can see you get tired. Yeah. When that's you get true. tired, it's full on fucking. Yeah. My mommy out. knows when I'm tired. If I come in and I haven't slept right, my mommy goes, What's wrong? Did you not sleep? Dude, every time. Your mommy has a good good eye. Always for it. knows, dude. That's because she's a three or four on the scale. True that. She she's knows. got that white trash fucking <laughs> witch like <laughs> like the lady from uh fuck Peaky Blinders. She's like half gypsy, dude. Yeah. She knows. You can tell if you're pregnant by like looking. I remember at this hips. lady told me that at a, at the at the ice cream factory I worked at. She was like, "Your face really fucking. You can't really hide anything, can you?" It stuck with me. It's one of those. What was she getting at? What was she trying to dig out of you? I think I was pissed about something. Yeah, yeah. Like even yesterday when we were trying to record, like midway through, I was probably like, <laughs> "You had a sour puss, dude." Oh. <laughs>